If you wish to tilt the flat zero plane at an angle, you can do this by using the angled plane tool. The tool is located on the top toolbar. When you select the tool, you will be greeted with two red arrows with small white dots inside them. The red arrow will move up or down in Z and the white dots are anchor points. These anchor points can be snapped to specific locations. For instance, the midpoint of a model on either side. Selecting the red arrows and moving up or down adjusts the Z value as shown. You can also enter a size in the dialog box. If you wish to create more complex compound angles, you can also do this by selecting to add a third point, which will place a third point on the model. This can then be moved around just like the other two points. Not only can this be used to create an angle on the model, it can also be used when a vector is selected. Here, I have a rectangle selected, and when I open the tool, it will automatically place two markers on its extremities. These can then be moved around the same way to create a relief. Again, you can add a third point to create a compound angle on the relief. As ever, Select Apply to accept the generated relief and then close the tool.